Hi, I'm Sahar Rahman and I'm a designer and this is my story. So I was born in Saudi Arabia, Jeddah, and from there we moved to Pakistan and we were raised there and then we moved to Bangladesh and finally that was our final destination. So uh, when we moved to Bangladesh, I think that was like the biggest change of our lives uh, because you know even despite having like uh, Bengali parents or Toporo, you know, the language, uh, Bangla was like French to us, Tokhon. And who um, difficult you know, to, you know, um, just adjust with the whole new culture and everything. So I was a very restless student. Um, I was a very average uh, student, never wanted to study. Uh, I used to love sports. Um, I used to be in the playground all the time. So at a very young age, Ami figured out Gorefil Salam that I'm actually a creative soul um, and I was very inclined towards designing. Chota uh, Balatike, you know, just me and my sister Amana, we just designing clothes together. And you know how Bondra Kore, you know, makeup, clothes, and fashion, it used to really attract us. So Chota Bala, Amra Shapsham Amadu Nije Kapo design I know sounds so cliche. Uh, so I remember this story. Uh, Amra, I was I think around 14 and um, I just decided I want to wear something really different to this uh, birthday party and I teamed up capris and a slant cut shirt uh, I mean kameez uh, the norm was everyone used to wear like a basic cut straight cut kameez with shalwars that that's what was in and I was so confident with that outfit uh, you know the three-quarter pants and that uh, slant kameez and I went to the party and everyone was like, they were stunned. They were like, what are you wearing? And why are you wearing this? Um, but I think, you know, just the fact that Choro Bhatike, you know, just the confidence in myself that uh, I can rock this outfit and I believe in the design was always, um, you know, with me. After a few years, actually that design was in fashion and, um, you know, everyone loved it, got so popular. So as I grew up, um, you know, I never wanted to just like go in the BBA or accounts line for sure because I was a creative soul. So I wanted to study fashion and uh, that's when I started looking up into universities, um, you know, abroad. And I was so excited because I really wanted to go and study fashion um, in New York or London, whichever worked. But then when I started applying, I just uh, realized that their first requirement was that you have to send them an illustration, like a fashion illustration, and that's how they will judge. And guess what? I did not know how to make a fashion sketch. And uh, I just saw my dream getting shattered right there. And I remember being so upset uh, because I was never the, the sort who would learn something, you know, just things just came very naturally and very creative habit to me. On the other hand, my parents were getting really worried for me because I was kind of losing time. And my sister, uh, you know, Marshall, she was a good student, she was doing well. And my parents were like, Tomi ki korba, toma ke de kichi hobena, you really need to decide what you want to do. Uh, I think that's the time it just really hit me that if I have to do something, I have to do it right now. My parents figured out there was this university which came from India and it was called Pearl Fashion Institute. And, uh, you know, that is uh, when we decided that's the school I will go to and then I was so excited I went there and guess what uh, they did not start their fashion course as yet and they're like it's gonna be a year later so why don't you just get into our fashion merchandising production technology course and I was like oh my god not again <laughs> like I was like okay you know what I'll just get into it as long as it has fashion in it and um, I did that course I got to learn a lot of things from there not fashion related but a lot of the textile and stuff so once I was done with the course, uh, my faculty placed me in the best, uh, you know, one of the best brands that was H&M. It was so nice of them that they chose me to go to H&M and learn all the trade tricks. And I was at H&M for six months um, doing my internship and I really liked it, but <laughs> I realized this is not my cup of tea and I didn't want to do this because it was so hectic and uh, you know just the nine to seven job is not for me and uh, i left it that was the time when my parents were really upset and they thought that i actually don't have any focus in life i was like this is the time this is it this is what we do so i just went to chandni chowk that was my first experience going to chandni chowk with my sister and um amana has always been you know such a big support for me you know we both going there hunting down key fabric you know without knowing a lot of things about the market here because when you're young you're so busy you don't go to chandni chowk you know you're studying or you're hanging out with your friends so yeah we went and sourced a few fabrics and we started doing our thing which we do and i remember that 10 years back uh, we actually came up with the, you know, the belt and you won't believe it that, you know, at the time of social media, you know, everything 
মনে হয় দ্যাট ও এটা তো আসে ইট ওয়াজ অলওয়েজ দেয়ার বাট নো ইট ওয়াজ ফিউ থিংস ওয়ার নট অলওয়েজ দেয়ার ইউ নো সি সি লাইক সোশ্যাল মিডিয়া হ্যাজ রিলি চেঞ্জ আওয়ার লাইফ ইউ নো আজকাল তো ইউ নো ইউ ক্যান ফাইন্ড সো মেনি পিকচার্স ইউ হ্যাভ সো মেনি রেফারেন্সেস অ্যান্ড ইউ ক্যান টেক সো মেনি আইডিয়াস বাট ব্যাক দেন ইট ওয়াজ ইন দ্য সেম কেস ইউ নো উই ডেন্ট হ্যাভ ফেসবুক উই ডেন্ট হ্যাভ ইনস্টাগ্রাম টু লুক ইন টু থিংস এন্ড দ্যাট উই ডেট উই ক্যুরেটেড আ লাইন অফ টেন টু ফিফটিন আ ফিটস এন্ড উই ওয়ার রেডি এন্ড উই হ্যাভ টু গিভ ইট আ নেম এন্ড দ্যাট ওয়াজ আ স্ট্রাগল বিকজ ইউ নো আমানা জাস্ট বিং সো শাই ইউ নো শি জাস্ট লাইক না আপা তুমি করো তোমার ড্রিম তুমি করো আই এম দেয়ার উইদ ইউ এন্ড ইউ নো দ্যাটস ওয়ে শি গেভ মি দ্যাট ফুশ এন্ড উই কলড মাই ব্র্যান্ড সাহার রহমান বাই সাহার রহমান So our next uh, step was opening a Facebook page. Uh, Facebook platform was just launched and I think that was like the best platform to just let everyone know that hey, you know, we are open to all now. Um, you know, tapor amra ekta por ekta exhibitions korte gelam, basha, you know, hotel everywhere and people wanted more and more. Me and Amana, we were truly overwhelmed je eta ki hocche and you know, we were so happy. And I think they were just loving uh, you know, fresh new styles, you know, our color palette. We were you know we were working on all of pastels because that's that's like what our personal style so i think people were just really liking those fresh light pastel colors because back um, in those days you know tokhon uh, people used to wear really bright fuchsia pinks and maroons and blues so i think it was like a breath of fresh air for them you know just a light palette So we were the youngest to participate uh, in Bangladesh London Fashion Week uh, along with all the leading designers of Bangladesh which was an amazing platform for us. Uh, we have been doing exhibitions in Dubai, in Bangkok uh, which is amazing. I think Dubai experience was amazing because there were so many Bengalis who came in. Uh, because it was the first Bangladeshi brand to uh, participate in that exhibition in Dubai. Also a few years back we launched our shoe line and potli line which is called Mondro. I did that with my best friend. Um, it was a dream come true because I always wanted to have a shoe line. So you know after all this you know we finally decided that we need to open a bigger and a better store so we can um, you know carry more collection, more people can come in and just they can have an experience of what actually a designer outlet can look like what a designer store looks like so they can have the same experiences what they are getting outside see shobar ekta taste thake ekta personal style thake you know a sense of fashion which they have um, you know in them but um amar sobche koshto lage and it really saddens me that amader ke unfortunately me and my sister um amader ke sob shomoy manush um bole the you know that tumar kaaj sundor but you know how you look a certain way is only because we were raised in pakistan uh, but you know that is not the case you cannot look like a particular way just because you were raised somewhere you know you uh, it has a lot to come with family you know both my parents um, you know my mom and dad they were very fashionable people and we have learned everything from them so girls if you have it in you you know you don't have to be from a fashion background you don't have to be some from some other country you know if you believe in yourself you know people will eventually see it and um, you can just work really hard be honest with yourself and just keep on proving majhe majhe onek breaks chole ashe life e you know but it doesn't stop here don't get disheartened you know just keep on chasing your dream keep on dreaming that i will be somewhere i dreamed that i want to be a designer and i will show the world that i it, i have it in me and um, you can do that too you know so never give up thank you so much decopedia for covering my story it has been wonderful